Don't run in with yous. Welcome back to John's Random Reviews. I'm at my mum's, specifically in the garden, because mum has got a new lawnmower. She used to have a bit of a fly mow that she used to have to plug in, and she thought this would be easier. She's actually got a G, um, a G Tech um, vacuum cleaner. I nearly said, what did I nearly say? Hoover. She's got a G Tech. Come in a bit, camera man. You're too far away. She's got a G Tech um, vacuum cleaner, so. She thought this would be a good idea. She's only got a very small lawn. This is an 18 volt lawnmower. And the model number is S L M 50. Now I think these retail for about 180 pounds. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, first of all, first of all, when, come in a bit, come in a bit. Hang on, I've got to whisper here. Whisper, hang on. We're not going to fucking swear <gasps> because it's mum's house and also we don't want to upset the neighbours. So in this video, you might be disappointed, but there will be no swearing. No swearing at all. So this is our, my review of the GTEC SMM50 lawnmower. Okay. Right then, first impressions. First impressions, it looks like a bit of a toy. It looks like ABS plastic. I'm not sure if it is, but I might be able to do a little bit of a test like the Avi guy does with the pen knife. But my mum's not going to be very happy about me attacking the new lawnmower with a pen knife. Anyway, it does look like ABS. It looks, I don't like this um, black and sort of like off white and green. This, oh my God. Anyway, G Tech apparently, hang on, let's see, is made in the UK. Don't know a lot about it. But let me just focus that. GP, GB made. So, Obviously, obviously, it's got <laughs> it's got four wheels. And what this is, what this is, is if you leave the battery in, it's up there. Battery's up there. If you leave the battery in, you want to leave the battery in, and you don't want any kiddie winks to use it. What you do is this is the key. So this stops it operating. So let's see. I've taken the key out. Let's see if we can if it'll run. Right. So let's go into how we get it to start anyway. So you press this little green button and the trigger's there. So no, it won't work without the key in it. So we'll put the key back in it. Let's see. So I'll put that key and that clicks on like that and that means it's unlocked. So another feature it's got is when it's actually like that, the handle's like that, it turns itself off. I guess that's just in a safety thing, I don't know. So, I don't think you can hear it click. No. But when you have the handle just off 90 degrees, it should turn on. So let's look at the battery. An 18 volt, um, two amp ion battery. And the, I've, I've actually got a strimmer. So how you charge these batteries is it's got a little port there. It's got a little cable. You, um, you charge it. I think it takes a few hours to charge. It's not like a quick charger. But to know if the battery is fully charged or part depleted, you press that button. And it's flashing. I guess that means it's fully charged. I guess. Anyway, we'll give it a go. Same again with the top. It looks a bit cheap and nasty. What? Why? You're in the garden. You're doing a bit of gardening. And you've, you've got... Green stuff, green, green grass. And why make it tool white, gloss white? It might look all right, the gloss white in a in a bloody Hollywood home, but not in a garden, that's gonna get all mucky. Fail, fail, totally fail. But as you can see, the grass isn't very um, tall at the moment. So I don't think it'll cut much. Apparently, the actual maximum it can cut, this um, lawnmower, is 40 mil. So it'll cut 40 mil. So that's not cutting it. It's not, you're not going to be able to play bloody golf on it. It won't cut it that short, but we'll give it a go and see what it does. It's got absolutely no weight to this thing. 
it's light as a feather. I'll put the little details about how heavy it is, but if you're a bit old and infirm and you want a really, really light um, lawnmower, this is absolutely brilliant. So what we're gonna do, you see these over there, Pat Cameraman, daisies, daisies. As you know, they're a menace. They're a menace, they're poisonous. Poisonous daisies, poisonous. So we're gonna get rid of them, okay. Are you ready? Well, it works, but I don't think, I honestly, it doesn't really cut it very short. It says in the instructions that it cuts it the, the maximum or minimum depth is 40 mil, which um, if I want to get the golf clubs out and play and play around a golf on there, that's not going to be any good. It's got rid of the daisies. So what can we do about it? Come in a little bit, cameraman. We'll have a look at it. For, for safety first, we'll take the key out. No one can start it. So we'll flip it over. Right, it's, as you can, if you put the, in there, you camera in them. Mr. Cameraman, it's got two settings. So it's on its maximum at the moment. To change it, it's got springs, and you can see that you put it onto two little notches. So it's on the lowest notch at the moment on both ones. So I want to cut the grass. I think it should be down to 20 mil. Should be able to cut 20 mil and make it a lot finer so I can play golf. Um, so what we're gonna do is, don't tell G Tech, don't tell mum. We're gonna take this um, the actual blade off and we're gonna try and put some washes underneath it. And also, the blade is, well, it's, that's a cutting bit, is dull. I mean, it's not even got an edge on it at all. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and take this to bits, don't tell mum, and we're gonna try and put some washes under there to make it cut lower, lower. Right, I've got the socket set, Baco socket set, and it's got a 12 mil um, socket on it. So let's get the blade off. Ooh. I've actually pre-loosened that and I'll tell you why it's got Loctite in the, on this thread so um, it stops it coming apart and it's got that actually look at it's got a really long thread which is going to help us so we're going to wind that out like so see how long it is and you can see the Loctite the red Loctite on there so if we pull this off what we should be able to do hopefully is get some washers under that bit so then put all it all back together and Bob will be my uncle. So, okay, let's go and get some washers. And we're back. Okay, I found this in the van. It's a 15 mil compression coupling, obviously with, that, with the nuts taken off it and the olives, but it goes over this spindle. So what I was thinking, what I was thinking is to cut it, hang on, cut it just there. So then I'll make a washer, a spacer, so we can get the grass cut shorter. Let's do it. Okay, so I've cut this little um, bit off a 15 mil compression coupling to make a washer, or more likely, let's call it a shim. So let's get a close up of there. That just, I mean, that is perfect. Fits perfectly on there. So let's get the other bit on, like that. Oh my God, hang on. So that goes on like that. And I know what you're saying, it doesn't, go all the way to the top, but I think it'll be all right. Or this could be a very expensive mistake and I could be owing my mum 180 quid. But you know, we've got to go for it. We've got to do these things. So let's get that tightened up. A dum dum dum, a da da da. It's always good to sing a ditty when you're putting bolts up. Da 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 da. Right, make sure that's nice and tight. There we go. Okay, let's give it a test. Oh, and another thing, apart from that shim, I've actually sharpened the blade a little bit because it was dull. It was absolutely dull. Don't think you can see it, but nevertheless, I've got the grinder and I've sharpened the blade as well. 
Right, test number two of the improved GTEC lawnmower. Okay. Should have done a before and after really because it's hard to say in the video how much improvement i've made on the lawnmower but let's get it down there a little bit and that's good so it's time to get the golf clubs out well no, hang on a minute I don't play golf bloody golf for losers well is it better yes is it better will mum be happy see come on let's go and see mum see if she's what she thinks come on Right, Mum, are you happy with the new improvements to your GTEC lawnmower? I am very happy, John. Thank you very much. And are you very proud of your son? Absolutely. It, yes. cuts, it cuts really well. Oh, well, there we go. It's been a good day. Okay, random is rad. Rock on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Unsubscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Tell me you love me. Tell me you hate me. Tell your friends and neighbours. Tell that weird guy from across the street with the one-eyed dog. Tell me anything, but most importantly, let's get it.